Hello there, my name's Dane Lemetra, uh, and this is another review on the Box Dursel collection of mine. Um, you may remember, in, I've done two other videos uh, showing you some of my collection. Um, if you haven't seen them videos, then the links are provided uh, in the description of this video. Um, but I've got a few more that I want to show you, and some that were only in pictures at the end of the last video. Um, I had a few requests saying, oh, can you show, show us those ones and that, and talk through them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, but I had intended to do that all along. Uh, so here it is. Um, so here we have some more uh, box earth engines. Um, these were featured, as you probably may remember, in the end of my last video that I did a few weeks ago. Um, and I had a lot of people saying to me, oh, we'd like you to um, talk through the ones that you got. Um, that obviously I didn't speak through last time, uh, that was my aim all along. Um, but I've got four along the top here and four along the bottom here, um, and the four along the top uh, came in a job lot on eBay, um, and they were £20.90 p altogether, and uh, so were these, these are from the same seller, so I paid £20.90p for these, £20.90p for those, on two different months, I got these in May, um, and I got these uh, in June, and they came on the 1st of July. Um, so I'll talk through them, uh, first of all we have Thomas, um, and as you've probably seen from my other videos, I now have uh, two Thomas, well, three if you count this one. Um, the other two I've got, one comes in Mr. Conductor and one's in the old 90s packaging. Um, and this one here was made in 2002. Um, like I said, because it came in a job lot, like I said, it did come with another Thomas, but at the end of the day, you know, I think it's nice to have some different uh, packaging of uh, the number one engine, who's obviously the most important. Uh, now we have move on to uh, Falcon. Uh, Falcon is also a uh, Sir Handel, as you know, he was originally Falcon, um, and then later on, when he was brought brought over, he became a uh, Sir Handel, uh, named after the owner Sir Handel Brown, if I'm not mistaken. Again, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but there's Falcon, um, and then you have a look on the back. And this one was made in 2003, and the model of Falcon was released in 2002. Um, it is more or less exactly the same as the Ertl model of Sir Handel. Um, and I have Sir Handel and Falcon both in box. So the only difference is that obviously Falcon says Falcon on the nameplate and Sir Handel says Sir Handel on the nameplate. So there's no real difference between them. But if I do see Sir Handel for a good price in the Ertl range in a box that's quite good condition, um, I definitely get it as well. Uh, now we move on to Rusty. Uh, Rusty is my favourite diesel engine in the show and this is a very good representation of what Rusty looked like in series 4 and in series 5 I think it's fair to say he looks a lot different now um, but definitely a lot more detail and this model was made you can probably read up just up there in my thumb in 2001 that's Rusty um, I mean, the last one I got in this bundle was the pump truck uh, with Old Bailey on it. Again, I have this one unboxed, but so these ones are going to be staying in the boxes. Um, and obviously the pump truck um, appeared in, in Series 5 in the episode Haunted Henry. So there's Old Bailey, and I think it looks more or less like um, Old Bailey on there. Um, I think it's really detailed. No, and this is definitely one of my favourite in the Ertel range. Uh, the pump truck's also in the wooden range, and uh, in the CGI series, the pump truck does appear, um, but without Old Bailey. Um, but Old Bailey is said to have appeared in a Blue Mountain Mystery, and I can see by looking at this, obviously looking at this photo, it is very similar to Old Bailey, so it must be the Old Bailey. Uh, so now we're moving on to these four. Um, so we have Duncan. Again, I really like Duncan's Ertel model. Um, it sort of it reminds me of Duncan in the uh, Railway series, and I think the, this model of Duncan is definitely a lot better than both his TV series models, and uh, definitely a lot better than what Duncan looks like now in the uh, CGI show. Um, so yeah, really good detail, and again, Falcon who we were on about earlier, he obviously later on became a handle. He looks quite good, I think, in the CGI show. Oh, and then again, if you look at the back, 
Uh, this model was made in 1996. And then you've got a description card. And this is this is obviously in a really good condition. And I mean, that bit there is still there. It's not been, obviously, that's where they normally, in shops, when you buy them off the shelf, it normally that bit's missing and it goes through a thing. But it's still there, so that's actually really good. Um, and the 16, he's in the same condition. Uh, but we'll move on to 16 later. Uh, here we've got Lord Harry. So there's Lord Harry, uh, one of the mountain engines. Again, um, a really nice model. Obviously, Lord Harry wasn't in the TV series, um, but was in the railway series. Uh, this one was made in 1997, making it about 18 years old. And there's a nice description card, tells you all the ones you can buy, etc. Uh, now we move on to 16. Again, only 16 was in the um, railway series, he wasn't in the TV series. Um, he looks a lot different. Um, his Ertel model looks a lot different to what it looks like uh, in the Railway series. Um, and he's not got the black and yellow things. Um, and I mean, in general, Ertel is a really good range and does some really good detail. And I think this one's a really good model, but there is some detail missing. I mean, they've gone, they've put the black and yellow stripes that he had on there, um, but they haven't on there. Um, and this model's quite a special one to me. Um, obviously, I've got one unboxed as well. And the unboxed one I got on a day that I went to the seaside. And when I got home, and it was in this sort of packaging. And then when I got home, I played with it for a long time uh, on the table. Because on the table, I used to have my track out and play with them. And I was up till quite late playing with it, I remember. And I've still got that unboxed one. But like I said, this is a new one that's going to stay uh, boxed. Um, and this one was made in 1998. You could probably read at the bottom there more or less um, and it was probably 1998 that I actually got my unboxed one uh, like I said I've still got my unboxed one and again like Duncan it's not had the thing pushed through so it's in more or less uh, brand new condition um, in the post you can probably see it got slightly bent It's slight, but it's not really damaged or anything Um, and then lastly, we move on to the uh, slate trucks. The uh, slate trucks are, of course, um, the narrow gauge trucks that the narrow gauge engines pull. Um, so I've got some more narrow gauge trucks. Obviously, as you probably remember, I've got uh, Defuse It, the uh, gunpowder ones. And obviously, Defuse It's a bit of a pun. These were made in... Uh, 2001 you see at the top there and I think it was around 2001 these were actually released in the Ertel range um, as you can see it's got like um, one of the cards that tells you all the different characters and that that you can get in the ranges um, so yeah these are the eight that I got this year as well um, and here's a few more so here you can see um, I've got some more um, I've got Toby, Splatter, Dodge and Henrietta uh, Toby, Splatter and Dodge uh, all came in a job lot on eBay and the job lot also came with Thomas and Mr. Conductor um, as you probably saw from another video I already have one of those so I've now got two Thomas and Mr. Conductors um, and the job lot was £20.90p and, um, and to get these two individually Splatter and Dodge um, I don't know about Toby so much but they were a lot more expensive so to buy them in a job lot and just to get one of the um, other ones that I already had, it was it still worked out um, a lot cheaper, uh, to be honest. And, uh, you know, in the collection, sometimes it's nice to have more than uh, the same one, if you probably know what I mean. Um, so we'll start off with Toby and Henry, yes, first of all. Um, so here we have uh, Toby. Um, as you know, I've already got Toby unboxed, um, along with Henrietta. Um, but this one's staying boxed. And what you might notice as well is, you might not be able to see as well as I can, but the paint on this one is a lot thinner than the paint on my unboxed one. So, I mean, if that was to be played with, the paint would probably come off uh, in no time at all. Um, but like I said, I'm keeping this one in the box anyway. And uh, there's the back of the box, and it's got a nice collector card to cut off. Um, so, quite nice. 
Um, also, none of my other engines, as you've probably seen from all the other reviews, have actually came in the Shining Time Station packaging. Um, when I was younger, um, I used to get a lot of my Ertl engines from Toys R Us um, in Northampton. Uh, the Northampton branch being the closest one to me. And uh, from what I remember, there was actually a lot of the, um, those um, engines in the Shine Time Station packaging. If I'm not mistaken, my um, Oliver came in that style of packaging. Uh, Shine Time Station, I often did actually wonder what it was, because obviously Shine Time Station's the US. And back then, until obviously YouTube and that, we, us, the uh, British audience, didn't know what Shining Time Station was. And uh, we were even more confused when we, suppose, when we saw it in Thomas and the Magic Railroad for the first time. Um, but that's a really good box, and uh, you probably noticed that, like um, Duncan's box, it's got it's got a little bit at the top, uh, just there. So really good condition. Uh, Toby is one of my favourite engines um, in the series, um, along with Henry, uh, Gordon, Edward, and Oliver. Um, and the T. And the model there of Toby uh, looks more or less spot on to um, what he looks like in the TV series. Um, as you know, in the railway series, he was originally painted brown with grey side plates. Um, but then after, after uh, he'd been brought, he ended up being painted brown uh, with blue, blue side plates. Um, and Henrietta was painted brown too. Um, so I'll move on to Henrietta next. Uh, obviously Henrietta's Toby's coach. And again, completely different packaging to Toby, but the same uh, style of packaging as my um, Ertl, no, Diesel, for example, and Ben. Um, I've also got Gordon and Henry in this style of packaging, as you've probably seen in the past. Um, and like my Ertl Henrietta, this one was also made in 1992. Um, if you watch my Backman Toby review, um, you'll probably notice that I mentioned Henrietta. Um, and that, and you'll see that I mentioned obviously the fact that it was made in 1992. That was my unboxed one. Uh, Henrietta looks very much like uh, she did in the TV series there, um, in the model series. Um, but as you know, in the CGI series, fairly recently, um, Henrietta's come back, and she now has a face. Um, and as a child, I was often confused as to why Henrietta never had a face. Um, and characters even like uh, the express coaches that Gordon pulls, because you hear them talking, but. And particularly in the episode uh, Daisy, where um, obviously Annie and Clarabelle and Henrietta were all offended. I mean, that was the last episode that she spoke until the CGI series. Um, it did often cross my mind why she never had a face. And uh, in the Railway series, again, she never had a face. But in saying that, though, in one of the last books made by Christopher Audrey, um, she does actually appear with a face on a door. And that's the first time that she's been seen uh, with one then. Um, she's also voiced by um, the actress Ma Maggie Olivenshaw, um, and I got to see her last year um, when I went to see the first episode of the new series of Still Open All Hours being recorded, and I got to see David Jason and all the other Open All Hours cast and things, like, and Johnny Vegas and that. It was a really good day um, at Tenton Studios, which is now closed, unfortunately. Uh, so the next, next I'll move on to uh, Splatter and Dodge. So here we have uh, Splatter. Um, again, it's in the Thomas and the Magic Railroad style packaging. Um, so it's nice to have some more in that style of packaging. A really good box. And uh, you might not be able to see it as well as I can, but it says it just there. This model was made uh, in 2000. Again, I have Splatter and Dodge both uh, unboxed. So these are staying boxed. Um, so, really good model of Splatter. And then we have Dodge. Again, quite a nice box. So there's obviously a mark there where someone's taken the price tag off before. Um, but it was like that when I got it. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. And in fact, obviously I'm not selling it on or anything. I'm not too 100% fussed. You know, it's nice. To, I'm just glad to have it in the collection. Because uh, in the Magic Railroad, um, obviously there was... Lady and Diesel 10 introduced, and Splatter and Dodge were definitely my favourite ones. Um, but, uh, and so they only appeared in Thompson the Magic Railroad, unfortunately, they never um, appeared again, which is uh, a bit of a shame. But, say, 
it's just the way things are. I mean, recently we've had a Daisy come back to the series, and I was very surprised that Daisy came back, to be honest with you, and I was surprised, obviously, they even gave Henrietta a face, um, as I was saying earlier, so, to be honest, you know, the series is full of surprises, so, you know, we may see them again. We might not, you never know. Um, just got to go ahead, and I mean, you can't predict the future. Um, but anyway, those are all the um, Ursel models that I got this year. Um, so I'm still collecting them. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, thank you for watching another uh, collection update. There is links in the description to all the um, other update ones I did. As you know, I did one um, the previous week, um, yeah, and I hope to obviously make another video soon. And I brought a few more. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.